electric current and circuit. Humans have an intimate relationship with electricity to the point that it's virtually impossible to separate your life from it. Sure, you can flee from the world of crisscross power lines and live your life completely off the grid, but even at the loneliest corners of the world, electricity exists. It is a controllable and convenient form of energy for a variety of uses in homes, schools, hospitals, industries and so on. A common lab activity that illustrates the necessity of a complete loop utilizes a battery, a light bulb and some connecting wires. The activity involves observing the effect of connecting and disconnecting a wire in a simple arrangement of the battery, light bulbs and wires. When all connections are made to the battery, the bulb glows. The fact is, the light bulb glows and remains lighted. It ensures that charge is flowing through the light bulb filament and that an electric circuit has been established. A circuit is simply a closed loop through which charges can continuously move. Let us place a compass beneath the wire at any location such that its needle is placed in alignment with the wire. Once the final connection is made to the battery pack, the light bulb lights and the compass needle deflects. The needle serves as a detector of moving charges within the wire. When it deflects, charges are moving through the wire. And if the wire is disconnected at the battery pack, the light bulb is no longer lit and the compass needle returns to its original orientation. When the light bulb lights, charge is moving through the electrochemical cells of the battery, the wires and the light bulb filaments. The compass needle detects the movement of this charge. It can be said that there is a current, a flow of charge within the circuit. Electric current is the rate of charge flow past a given point in an electric circuit, measured in coulombs per second, which is named amperes. If a net charge Q flows across any cross-section of a conductor in time T, then the current I through the cross-section is I is equal to Q divided by T.